side now. Riverfront Coliseum in Cincinnati where just about a capacity crowd of nearly 15,000 is on hand to watch the Michigan Wolverines battle the Colorado College Tigers for College Hockey's National Championship. WCHA Rookie of the Year. He pops in 59 points with 26 goals this season. You know, you've just got a great freshman prospect. And this kid wiggles and waggles with the best of them coming into the zone. All right, we're set to begin the national championship game. The Michigan Wolverines in the maize and blue. The black and gold for Colorado College. The Tigers, Tom Meese and Bob Norton settle back. This should be a classic hockey game this afternoon. Michigan. Yeah, I think that uh, Colorado College just increased their chances to be in the hunt with them. There's a shot to score! Bill McCall got a perfect pass in the slot. Well, it doesn't take long to change that. I was about to say that they have been able to hold Michigan off the board early, but that turnover right along the sideboards, and all of a sudden it's one to nothing. 827, shut my mouth. Boy, Michigan along the boards, and watch what happens on the inside. Keep your eye right here. That's where the goal score is going to come from. Great centering pass. One timer. Wham! Right by Bach. Michigan gets out to the lead. Well, that's about as nifty a pass and shot as you can get. You were just saying to watch Bill McCall. He's been on fire of late, and he did not disappoint. Made no mistake in that one time. Bob McCall down to Williams Lake, British Columbia, play for the Columbia. Intended for Sloan, misses the mark, and here comes Hartnell. He's in alone on Turco, and a whistle going to come up for a penalty here. Marty Turco holding his ground nicely. And keeping Colorado College off the board, but we're going to have a penalty. Time to go. Schmidt still with it, back out to Elfring. Cross ice to Rude. Rude lets one rip just wide, stick side. Now it's Schmidt in front, he scores! Peter Geronato! Well, watch this one because Geronazzo, pretty quiet last night, but not quiet here or the other night, rather, Thursday night. Geronazzo right in front of the net. He's number 24. Watch him right here. That's Geronazzo, 24, right in front. And watch Turco here. Turco screamed in front, can't find the puck. Now he gets himself down, can't get up quickly enough, gets turned around, and Geronazzo right in front puts it away. That time, Turco got himself in a very bad position as he gets down. Comes back to Eric Rude, who cruises it. Little back. They're back on it with 14.35 to go in the second. Chad Remical. Colin Schmidt, the shot deflected well wide high. Gerenazzo. Colin Schmidt in front. Gerenazzo again. Rebound. Score! Remical! Once again, Marty Turco is swimming around in the goal crease area. I think that's a problem on this goal, Tommy, that once again, Turco gets himself down on the ice, and from that position, he just can't make very good reactions. Makes the original save, but can't come back and control the rebound. Rebound gets on the left side, and Schmidt just comes back, puts it up and over. Question he had of Schmidt is, what do you mean? The great defense held him off the board. McNeil comes back to Remical, shot! Oh, and Turco with that glove hand! Saved what would have been a Colorado College goal. Goodmanson. Scott Swanson got a lot of time. Gives it over. O'Brien Swanson. Nick Pack to McNeil with a shot. It is blocked in the slot. Comes out. And Turco gets a piece of that one from Swanson. That was a big time save. He's in. They still have a power play for just about 60 seconds. Alco top of the circle gets through. Bach was a little bit screened on that play. Yeah, I never saw it. Elfring blocked him. The shot was not on the goal, though. Here's a shot from the left point. Bach is down. Comes back down. Now here's Halco. Halco puts one in on goal. Shot score! My leg is tied up for Michigan.
was last week that Lake scored a big goal against Minnesota to tie a game. He's just done it again. Well, he makes a great play here as he keeps in good position. And this is superb poise under fire by the Michigan defense. Helco gets the puck on the right side, gets it inside, and Lake gets the rebound. There's a superb move by Helco. You see, that was poise under fire, took the slider, went around the sliding forward, gets the puck inside, and Lake chips it in. That is a huge goal for Michigan, a tire. Crozier stationed right in front of the net as they can get the puck to him. Here's Crozier on the backhand, couldn't get a shot away. Now as he's falling down, he centers the puck in the crease. Ryan Bach is being belted from all angles, reaches out, can't grab it, or does he? Yes, he'll hold on with 12 seconds to go in the Michigan power play. Elfring from the left point, through a crowd, and it hit a piece of Turco. He'll never saw the shot, he just happened to be in the right spot. In front, all oh, the backhand shot there by Swanson. So critical to Hall. Oh, oh, and a giveaway deep in the Colorado College zone. Bach in front and just barely knocked it. It was McCall. He knocked it just one. They beat Michigan. 15 to 6. The other national championship in 50 against BU. Colin Schmidt, top of the circle. Turn go gets it. a piece of it. Can't find it. It's loose behind the goal. Oh, my goodness. And lucky for Michigan that Preskin was back there to help direct the, the puck to the corner. In the Michigan zone. Colin Schmidt wins it. This is Rude. Rude cruising in, hit the goal post. He hit the inside of the post. Usually you hit the inside, it goes in. Now Scott Swanson through a crowd, just wide to the right pad side. Sloan was in the garden spot, ready to let her rip. Now Halco into the corner. Colin Schmidt. Oh, it's taken away. Schmidt's uh, pass intercepted. Great cruiser, it's locked in front. Shot, save, rebound, goal! Cincinnati, Michigan wins the national championship 3-2 to in overtime against Colorado College. Stay with us on ESPN. Coming up next, it's the WTA Women's Lipton Championship featuring Steffi Graf. Brendan Morrison is a hero in Ann Arbor, and that's the reason why. The tennis is coming your way next. For our whole crew, for Bob Norton, I'm Tom Meese. So long from Cincinnati, Ohio.